Welcome back. Witnesses two full-grown lions leap out of the brush on the side of the road and attack the little caravan. First one uh, throws a claw at the lead horse uh, and misses and reaches back in with a bite and clamps his jaws firmly. It's not a little gunk, is it? It is not little gunk. It's one of the it's horses. Gabby Ferdinand or Dashel? It's Dashel. <laughs> Dashel. Not <Nah>, Dashel. <laughs> uh, takes seven points of damage. I... This music's depressing. Oh, no. Uh, he looks incredibly wounded, oh. but it is not over yet. He's keeping him. They're ripping Dashiell apart. <laughs> <laughs> They're ripping him apart, man. I uh, can hesitate to tell you, but a Dashiell takes a vicious paw to the neck as the second one. Uh, pushes against him and knocks him to the ground. He reaches in to bite and unexpectedly Dashiell just collapses and the lion is unable to properly anticipate that and bites above his head. Oh my god. I'm just picturing we're riding along and we see some step, some footprints on the ground and then two lions just attack Dash and I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> it is, Tink. It is your turn. Okay. Um, am I, if I were to try to reach over and detach the rain that's going around Dashiell, would that take any sort of action or anything? Uh, we'll go with an interaction action, so it's going to be a standard action, so you won't be able to attack if you do that. Okay. Uh, I don't know, I really like this horse, man. I kind of want to keep him up. We still got Ferdinand and Little Guck. We do, as long as we don't lose Little Guck, because I want to use That'll... him. I want to use him as leverage and try to gamble with people. Yeah, take him just a lot. And shit. <laughs> this this horse can gamble. There's not many horses like that. Okay, yeah. So I am just going to, I guess, raise up my crossbow at the nearest lion and okay. try to fire a bolt into it. Let's see how it goes. It's going to go pretty well, I think. <laughs> Because that's going to be a 23. That hits. All right. So my crossbow does a... Where do I have damage over here? Yeah. All right. I'm going to have to look up light crossbow damage real quick. I forgot to write it down on my sheet. I don't have an actual character sheet all filled out. So one light crossbow is 1d8. Yep. All righty. And I'm going to get a... So that's going to be six damage. And then... I'm going to try to climb my way to the, the top of the caravan. Just try to get myself some elevation. Okay. Uh, caravan's not uh, difficult terrain or anything, so you're more than capable of doing that. Cool. You're up, you're top, you got some visibility. Cool. How far am I away from these lines? I assume were you in the vanguard position or were you in behind? Or were you right on Guck? I assume I was on a little Guck along the side of the caravan. Like, not just a little off to the side. So you would have been on the other side of the caravan. Okay. So you can use little Guck as your movement. So if you want to do that, just kind of like... Yeah, I'm going to full them, charge on little Guck, get these guys with my long sword ready. Um, do I get an advantage for hanging on the back of a horse? I don't believe there's elevation advantage. It's not quite... Tell that to Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> All right, I'm swinging at him with my sword. That's going to be a... Uh, yeah, 17. You hit. All right, we are doing 1 d fine ball for music. <laughs> Did you attack the same one that uh, Tink did? We're pirouetting and Tink. slashing and shooting on He was attacking the one that has the horse in its jaws. Yeah, yeah I'm getting that one. We're saving. Dash. Save we're, we're uh, six damage. Okay. Six slash. Okay. You do another six damage to it. It is going to be the lion's turn. At this point, he recognizes the peril is in and uh, changes his option. He's going to remove his jaws off of uh, Dashiell and into the rear back and attempt to paw at Guck. 
Don't you dare. All right. Hold is... on. I feel like Logut gets advantage because for some reason he's super smart and transcendent as a horse. He is. <laughs> he is a superlative animal, but he is unfortunately not being attacked. It is you. You're gonna take seven points of slashing damage. To me? Yes. Not even Lil Guck? No. <laughs> He's the I would rather you. you. Actually, Lil Guck can just stab him in the face with the sword. <laughs> Alright, we're coming down a bit. Alright, the second one is uh, does an 11 hit you? No. Then you feel the wind as a giant paw just wafts past, you, past your face. How did yeah, the first big, one hit me? What did he roll? Hmm? How did the first one hit me? A 19? Oh, yeah. Just over. <laughs> just over. That was on the die, so I'm gonna hope that your AC is not above 20. Not yet. Man, we can get there. We can get there. We can get there. Alright, so that is the first line. Willow, it is your turn. How, where am I? Am I in the caravan? Where are you? In fact. I think I was in the caravan. Or was I right? I can't remember. Was I riding the other horse? Someone was in it. Well, they had like you a little were, You were in it. No, you were. One of, someone he, was next to. I was what, up, uh, Eamon is always up, post up next to the. You're horse. next to him. He's just in the back, so I must be on the other horse. Okay, so you so are on, on the other, the other side. horse. On the, you're on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna stay over there. And. I'm just, I'm so scared to go up because I've got really, really low HP. <laughs> you don't have any spells that attack at range? I, I have Thorn Whip, but then it would pull it to me. <laughs> so, Gnar. Gnar. Um, <laughs> no, thank you. I think that's an opposed strength check, so there's always a chance that you don't succeed at pulling it close to you. Mm, fair. I think... What I'm going to do to potentially help my comrades out is like entangle. I'll entangle the non wounded one in case they can finish off the wounded one. Okay. Four? No, wait. Do I get proficiency for using my. You, for using your what? Druid. Yeah, because it's don't my quarter staff. Yes, you, have, my... you are a ledge proficiency too. Okay, so six. <laughs> six to hit? Yeah. That is not going to hit. I figured. Okay. Okay. Um, that's all I got. So we're going to go to Anna. Although in my head, I do have the spray bottle I've been spraying Guck with, so I would love to like <laughs> use it on the lion. But So how is little Dashiell? Is he down for the count? Is he zero HP? He is... Sorry, Entangle's not a... He is a, on, a, on a scale of one oh, it's to fourteen. Not he is at a one. He's at a one. Seven. Right. Entangle's not a hit move. It's just she summons vines in they the just, area. They just exist. They, I didn't realize that. I'm sorry. The lion has to succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained by the entangle until the spell ends. Okay. Is that? Can you check this out? So um, yeah, you speak with animals. Yes. Like These I just I just cast. Yeah. All right. I'm going to look at. The from my shotgun position, look at the lion that just tried to swipe Guck's face off. I'm gonna whip up my sacred flame and throw it at him. Damn, ten. No quite. Misses. <laughs> Autobahn. They are quite hittable, but not quite that hittable. Okay. Damn it, Jay. So the second one uh, turns and attacks little Gulk. Uh, oh, God. Does a 15 hit a horse? I believe it does. Do I need to look up the stat block for a horse? Uh, I yes. assumed you had it over there. Go, Wait, I'm gonna go the, we... I have the lion up, but I don't have the horse. I'm pretty sure the, the horse is going to get hit. Did we correct 15. the entangling thing, though? Oh. So he would have to roll yeah, a strength, roll strength check. Let's see if he succeeds on that. Uh, what's your DC? Should be proficiency, wisdom, and eight. Proficiency, wisdom, and eight. Okay. Twelve. Four, six. Yeah. Three, no, fourteen. 
14. 14. If Four it's 14. for wisdom, proficiency, two, and then eight, right? Wisdom? Or no, because you, you're... Okay, yeah. That's sorry, my, yeah, that's my saving throw yeah, one. So 12. it's two, two, eight. So 12. 12. Uh, I can do math. No, it fails. So it is restrained. No. Nice. Riding horse fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an AC of 10. <laughs> Damn, I thought they With had With the a help of 13. <laughs> Squishy. Squishy indeed. They're not exactly designed for battle. All right, so he is restrained. That's going to be his turn. He's going to have to break out next time. That brings us to the top of the order with Tink. Okay, uh, so the the one that I shot with the crossbow and got... Is that the same one that got stabbed in the face? It is. And how's he looking right now? He is bleeding deeply from both of the wounds, but he looks ferocious still. Uh, yeah, we're just going to try to make him bleed even deeplier. Okay. Deep giving Not Skyrim right now. Quite. Damn. That's unfortunate. We're going that, back yeah, to I, Not back to me. All right, I'm going to use my bonus action to use my second win. Get a little help back here. So, is that D10? No, it's my D8. Why do I... Do I have two D8s? No, it's D10. All right, I am getting nine health back, so I'm back to full health. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna slash that same lion. It's a hit. <laughs> it's 19 base. So. Yeah. No. Um, and then that's a D8 slashing. Yeah. Eight damage. Okay. Still not down. Still not down. God damn! Put some beefy ass lions on us. He is. It's limping. Like you see him. Damage. You see him laboring to breathe. He is limping, but he's still standing. All right. Jay's whispering. Goes to that lion. The lion oh, is. is <laughs> I got no more actions left on my turn, so. You hear it meow, brow. I don't know what the line would sound like as it's trying to contemplate mortality. And it, <laughs> it attempts to run away. Oh, it's contemplating mortality, so it's getting a little existential, so it might be able to gamble. <laughs> <laughs> it rolls the bones. No. Uh, Damn, so it, it actually does attempt to run away. Uh, animals don't take the disengage action, so Guck, as it attempts to uh, leap over the uh, collapsed dashel. It passes out of your threatened area. Dang. No, that means you get an attack. Oh, I get an attack? Okay. It's two. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is leaking blood. Uh, there's a uh, very notable trail as it begins to flee uh, from the caravan. Uh, the second one is still ensnared. It is your turn, Willow. Get that fleeing one. Yeah, me too. Fuck it up. All right, I would like to... What are the movement on these things? How far did it get from us? That one was able to break through, but it wasn't able to uh, get all that far. I think it can move 30. But so it's about damaged. 30 feet away. It's 25 feet away from you. Okay. I'd like to say I can cast Thorn Whip on it. I don't know. I can't yeah, remember the range. Damage. Is that 30? Okay. Um, can you check if I have to roll for that? I, uh, I'm, I'm writing this down. I'm not sure what I need to roll for it. No, I'm sorry. Yep, make a melee spell attack. So you're going to roll uh, okay, this one efficiency I do. plus your wisdom. Uh, okay. As okay. She's hit. 19. That hits. One of the six Peterson. I'm assuming a lion is large. It is. Or smaller. Or smaller. Right. So I actually pull it up to ten feet closer. Nice. Do I have to roll for the ten feet as well? No, no. you no, don't get to pull it up to ten feet. You can Surprisingly, that just happens. I didn't realize that about yeah. going with that just kinda happens. There's no strength to oppose it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You choose um, up to ten feet. Alright, I guess ten feet so you guys can have opportunities. Um, but you also do damage. Yes, I just rolled that, and 
this is, I'm sorry, I'm asking a lot of questions this time because we haven't been in a battle where nope, I use this no yet, but for Thorn Whip, I'm just, I'm trying to picture in my head, if these are all things I'm casting with my quarterstaff, do I get the proficiency on all my spells? Yeah, you're you're going to add your proficiency to all of your spells because you're proficient in spell casting. So okay. it always and automatically is going to get that bonus. Okay, and that goes... Just get any damage, damage as well? onto onto it from like whatever wisdom. Or that's just or... the initial. It level. just says specifically one d six. Yeah. It yep. doesn't say plus proficiency okay. or anything. Okay, that's fine. So... Then I have hit him for one damage. <laughs> one damage. Tell me that kills him. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does actually. Yeah. <laughs> as he just drags it across the ground. You throw you throw the whip at it. It hurls in and around the creature's neck, and you just come in. Get over here. And right. as you like just pull it towards you, it just kind of like. Oh, it's it's pretty it's pretty rough. Guck it, looks over like shit. <laughs> uh, but it is sufficient to kill the creature. That's why she's leader of the wage warrior. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Amen. it is your turn. Alright. Um how much holy water is a sprinkling of holy water? <laughs> just yeah, just like, on the fingertips. Okay. <laughs> like um, literally, like it is there's if it actually says sprinkling, yeah. then it is the, 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 the mental picture you have of just okay. like is he able to bless his own water to make it holy? I believe he does have that ability. I mean, we have infinite water. Um, but I already have a little bit of holy. I, so I'm going to <laughs> yell, may the divine spirit smile upon my friends and cast bless as I sprinkle holy water. And I concentrate for one minute. And I can bless up to three creatures within range. I have 30 feet. Okay. I think they're all in range. They are. And all of you guys can choose to add a d4 to a roll. And I'm looking up like, uh, what the? <laughs> Come hate fast. <laughs> he just starts rolling in the dirt to like. Re- I just, just adding onto my flowing hair with some sprinkles. In I it. just thought of this idea. Imagine he take he shoots the geyser out of his new infinite water source while you can, like are blessing it, and you shoot it some sort of like demon, and you literally just shoot him with a holy fire hydrant. It's the equivalent to, like, that would be legendary. <laughs> more than it. Flamethrower kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If we ever come across vampires, we might be set. I feel like that's a reasonable thing if you have a spell of a high enough caliber to make that possible. You could combine the actions and make that. Into that would be pretty badass. Uh, no, absolutely lie. devastating weapon against specific undead. I feel like uh, I'm thinking of it now, and a vampire would be like the only battle I can think of where a druidcraft might come in handy, and I just sprout garlic. <laughs> <laughs> That would be sweet. <laughs> and you just spray holy water across oh, it. Yeah. And sit in the double dose. Where it's ignited and then dead. So um, the lion, second lion is in an absolute frenzy. Um, tears against the, the vines on the ground um, and launches itself across as it begins to get closer to its mate. It uh, Growls pitifully, um, and then begins. They were a couple. They it begins to. Pack, they attacked Dash <laughs> Oh wait. Yeah, I mean they got what's coming to them, but also that's it. <laughs> and, and they were boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but as it tears through, uh, it makes efforts to avoid Guck, but in order to also avoid the entanglement, it acts to pack by. Yeah. Oh, attack. Two. <laughs> that is unsuccessful. <laughs> yeah. Two twos in a row. I mean, that's much better for this poor guy. It's uh, that bless that hit me, and I was like, what the fuck was that? And I got distracted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tick, it is your turn, though. Yeah, I'm just going to try to. So this guy is around 25 feet away from us ish. Yes. Okay, yeah, and I'm just going to shoot a crossbow bolt at him. Uh, yeah, 10. Wait, plus a d4. Plus a d4. What? <laughs> yeah, 14. That hits. Sweet. Three. You did. I did something. You did something before, twice. Woo! <laughs> Doing things. <laughs> Alright, I'm bull rushing this thing. Alright, you bull rush it. That one's in finally. Uh, 21. Yes. Alright, 8. 7 slashing. You can add 4. 
Onto you, the attack roll? And add a d4 to the roll on an attack roll, savings throw, or attack roll or savings throw. But you wouldn't need to add it. You can just hold on to his blessing. Yeah, that's not damage. Attack would just be to hit. Oh, yeah. I already was going to hit it. <laughs> Super hit it. <laughs> All right. So that is now Willow. Your turn. Do this exact same thing to this one. <laughs> Thorn I'm thinking it. about it. Yeah, I'm definitely not confident to walk up to a lion that I feel like one hit me <laughs> based on its attack with the horse. Um, I'm gonna do it. Thorn whip by the thorn whip in it. Yeah. Hold this, or you still have a lion whip. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I think a six. Okay. You whip out and you miss. <laughs> I do get out my water bottle now and just Strip that spray, out. and it probably doesn't reach him, but I just am like very scared of blind. Back to Katie. Amy, your turn. Hey. All right. Um, I have to maintain concentration for bless. So it just means you can't cast any other mm-hmm. concentration stuff. You go so whack it with dick. Oh. All right, I'm going to hold up my light crossbow then and blast him. Okay. That's me. It's a two. heavy dice. We keep, what are these You twos? started this all rolling twos. Mm, yeah, trendsetter. Yeah. Trendsetter. Don't What's set up? trends. Big old lion. <laughs> Stop trying to make fetch happen. Uh, so the lion uh, turns back around and a uh, howl of rage and pain attacks. Uh, does a 13 hit you? No. It uh, pushes up against the side of a little guck and tries to bite at you. Reaches for your leg. Uh, does a 14 hit you? Okay. This makes sense. This <laughs> can, can. <laughs> so one thing my characters get. This <laughs> taken hit. This tink. It is your turn. Uh, so this thing is still just about 25 feet. It is. All right. How is my booming blade? That is a modifier on a, an attack, a melee attack roll. You can make a melee attack as part of it, so you would have to be within five feet. Yep, and then it suffers, and then comes sheath and booming energy if it willingly moves for. Oh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to take out my my short sword and I'm going to dash with my little legs up to it <laughs> and try to slash it with this booming blade. Okay. I believe that actually modifies the attack to be uh, using your intelligence. So. This is now technically a spell. It is going to be a 12. That hits. Woo! That seems to be right on. So, a d6. Plus, so that's going to be 4 damage. And then if it willingly moves, it's instantly going to take another 1d8 thunder. Okay, so that is Sink. Got queer back to you. Slash him in the face. The fans just wanted a sandwich. 14. Right, 14 hits. hits. Yep, there. Six. This thing has to be dead now. It is very, very One. close. One. Right, We're down to. It sounds like I can have a final the neck breaking lion. again. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. That one. <laughs> I thorn whip myself somehow. <laughs> it's like fishing and you catch yourself with a hook, yeah. but now you just throw yourself it's like over and give yourself a wet lion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yar! I'm gonna ride that beast. Eamon, it is your turn. All right, I'm a sacred flame him, and the first time I didn't read it all the way, I was just using it. Um, he has to make a dex savings throw or take a one d eight. Damn. Yeah. Oh, eight. so it's not okay. So it's not even a hit. Yeah. Uh, he. I'm pretty sure he fails. What is the your DC? Thirteen. It fails just barely. <sighs> nice. He's gotta have like one health anyway. Two damage. Toss that wins. The divine light from the sky pushes down and pushes this beast against the ground and it begins to smolder uh, as it's a corpse. Since it was imbued with my breathing energy, does it also blow up? It did it willingly. But I'll give it to you. Roll yeah. Your, roll roll your uh roll, roll your boom energy. Your yeah. Thumb. 
this thing to be a giant pile of paste, a five. Uh, as it lurches closer and closer to the ground, the force of your fire pushing it down, its ribs explode as sonorous energy from his booming blade crushes it. Yes! I'd like to go uh, carve up some of the hind teeth, whatever I can get off this thing. Anything uh, useful? Right. That is going to be a uh, nature or survival. Probably survival if you're better at it. Go up, think it's going to operate like a hide of I'm a not better at line, and it's really uh, good. 17. Oh, 17? You're able to... Mm, I'm trying, yeah, you'd, you'd be able to do that. You can uh, take your time, skin the animal. Actually, uh, you, lion hide. I quickly run over to Dashiell and... Uh, Cast cure wounds, and I'm like quiet now. My friend, help is on the way. He, he reaches up his, his uh, hoof at you. <laughs> Can I, uh, <laughs> with a 17, am I good enough to get like the head of this thing? It's like a cape, Jeez, with a hide it's like a hide of a Nemean lion. I want to look pretty badass, cape. yeah. Uh, I would require that level of precision to be a 20. Damn. You do have a usable hide, however. Okay, okay. Doesn't he still have his plus? He does. Does it work for skills? It's attack roll or savings throw. Then unfortunately... He's like, uh, I'm attacking the God steps though. in and allows you to use a d4 to see if we can push this. Oh. Push the envelope. Let's see what happens. <sighs> so I need a three. three. Oh, so. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> you got inspiration? I could, but it's it's so early. The answer sounds so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Our God! <laughs> All right, I'm using my oh inspiration. <laughs> Always remember, it's a three. Oh I've got Ooh. a lion king. <laughs> he did it. The full king. He thinks it's gonna stop all the damage coming in. Was really just a rancid hide. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, in, that's actually why he wanted. He wanted to be stinkier. I reach into this thing as after I skin it and grab some blood and just wipe it on my face. As I turn around with like this full lion cape on me now. He looks straight up like Tony. <laughs> And I saunter on back and get on a little guck. And Very happy. He <laughs> kind of like, he paws away from you a couple of times, a little distastefully. <sighs> I'm going to take a little blood and give him like a hand to sew around on the top of his head too. I like it. He's mm. going to be your new shadow mirror. He stands up a little bit uh, more fiercely in Francis. We're, we're getting advantage on intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> I have decided. <laughs> I've decided that lions fear me. Uh, I'm over at you. <laughs> <laughs> Those are a killer's eyes. <laughs> that course is going to bust people out. <laughs> uh, you guys managed to get Dashiell up. Uh, it takes a bit of coaxing. Roll, uh, handle animal, or whatever. The, is it wild empathy? The, the druid thing to make them... I think she has animal handling or something. I thought she do have well... animal. Yes, I have very good animal handling, but I don't have like a specific. Then yes, it would be animal about. handling. I thought yeah. that druids got that still, but probably not. Sixteen. Sixteen. You're able to calm his nerves. You're really like, you did great. You did so great. You're, you're doing, fantastic. You're doing amazing, sweetie. I my only things I started with are druid craft and thorn whip. Okay. For reference, but I do have great animal handling. Perfect. Except for lions. They are hungry, hungry folk. They were looking for a sandwich. <laughs> Uh, the rest of the day passes uh, without further incident, and you're able to get into town. Lemond uh, leads you to the warehouse, uh, goes and uh, encamps the wagon. All right, you got, you got a deal, right? Yeah. Uh, we're splitting up 50 gold between us. Yeah. You're going to make a club in. <laughs> well, I'm gonna name the other members of the cohorts and get in here because I'm ready. Right. Like, like, no, actually, now that we're at his workplace, is where we should commit the crime. <laughs> oh, make it look like a workplace accident. Exactly. I'm ready. Can I, off the can I accidentally put my foot forward and just slam him down to the ground and as no. he's tripping? No! Just, we don't want to do this. We don't we, do we're this. getting two hundred gold a piece. We can Come give him. with me, and you'll be in the a world of emotion by I'll be in. <laughs> Fine, I don't do anything yet. Good choice, go. Poor <laughs> choice. Good Very God. disappointing. Good God. Um, decided not to commit. Well, I have no gold on me right now, so I'm going to volunteer. I just, I just <laughs> like the picture. 
I just like the picture of we went on this whole trip and came back and I'm just wearing a lion's thing with blood all over me. Find us after we get paid. Then you'll get your other hat. I can't, I'll give him a down payment of 10. Excellent. Excellent. Fantastic. I love it. Thank you. Oh, I think got to pitch this guy. Oh, there was <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I just kind of spin in his direction and then saunter off to find uh, Drake and Smith. Smythe. Smythe. Bro. Smythe? It's even more evil. <laughs> yes, you said this. I'm, I'm going to look at him before I, I leave his company. I'm just going to ask, how much would it be to, to purchase the company of Will Guck? Oh, no, I'm like taking Will Guck with me. I didn't even ask. I just sauntered. <laughs> He's coming with. Guck is bonded <laughs> now. Yeah. There were the blood somehow. It was like making like a blood pact, but like until that horse dies in glorious battle, he's with me. You saw the look on his face. Exactly. <laughs> he's in. He's locked in. I didn't even. See, he didn't question it. I just rode out. Like, no one understands him like I do. That horse is my soulmate. Looks like he's about free fitty. Thank you. And I'll just he, walk he on. You see the horse just like jumps and he's like, I need some dice. You need some dice. <laughs> We're heading to the bar. <laughs> Walks into the saloon with his horse. <laughs> yeah, Who I'm, the I'm ducking on <laughs> No, this is my point, man. We're we're doing we're doing doubles. Uh, you guys uh, take the time to. Are you actually just stealing the horse directly from? Peter? I was just gonna ride off. See what happened. Nobody said anything. I mean, we're not stealing it yet because we're just going to talk to Drake and Smythe. So yeah, yeah totally. Unless okay. he causes an issue with it. I think we just need to go to Dragon Smith and be like, by the way, this one chose to follow me now. So I just no, want to assume about it. that we all walk into Dragon Smith's office and I'm still on Lumion, <laughs> just like cramped in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Milton greets you at the door and he takes no. uh, a look at you and the horse and he just shakes I just it. give a grunt with all this blood and I want a little bit of an intimidation of just don't question it. No. And Lil, oh, Gu- and Lil Gu- gives out the same sounding kind of groan. Yeah. <laughs> they are one and the same. It's one is the horse. If I remember correctly, Milt's just like an apathetic asshole. So yeah. I don't think he cares. He's just like, these idiots. The horse is part of your party. It's not coming in. We're not, we're not going to do this. No. Uh-huh. Wait outside. Okay. And just kind of push him out the door. <laughs> You're like, you have to pay a little guck now. I don't make the rules. <laughs> but as he's leaving, I just, I'm just going to make the assumption that he's still a horse, so he's just kind of pooping on his way out, just dropping out of Dropping him. pile. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's, that really was what drove Milton saying absolutely not. <laughs> the horse is not interested in not pooping. He's so smart he enough to gonna... gamble and poop on command. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. That's a good horse. It is a good you know horse. Know horse. I'll give it to you. The this horse, horse is like a legendary figure for some reason. <laughs> the horse is going to be the new, the new boss of the organization. <laughs> you give him too much time hard. Where we are we promote him to lead the him. wage warriors. <laughs> At least vice captain. At he least. Oh, he's Apple. above me. Give me that. <laughs> you're, already, you're already deferring to him. I carried him halfway through, so. You're right. And then you return the favor, so it's like there's a bond board in blood there. Exactly. Uh, you guys make your way to the office. Uh, Draken looks up. Ah! So, uh, has my little uh, problem with uh, robbery has been dealt with? Yeah, we, we stumbled upon some merfolk, and they're not going to be bothering us any longer. They don't mm. seem like a violent bunch. But we shed their blood. But... <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we dealt with them. We don't know what they were looking for, but they seem... They seem pretty intimidated by our presence. They, they don't want anything... They don't want anything more to do with you. Kind of just gesture at Guck covered in blood and lion. And I'm a little too obviously trying to show off my cape. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I find no fault in your story. <laughs> <laughs> At all. They seem too dumb to lie. <laughs> I mean, um, Gunk is really coming in clutch for that. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. It's no, blissful no. ignorance. He doesn't even know that he's trying to play off a charade. Right. So but you've, uh, you've prevented future robberies of the caravan and delivered it successfully. Uh, I believe that 
satisfied with the terms of our agreement. Let me uh, go ahead and... There's one additional thing we'll require. What is it? The horse. Castle, cast Thermogy? Thermaturgy? Thermogy. Thank you. And I alternate the appearance of my eyes to do like the whole little spinny thing. <laughs> oh my god. You want to give us this horse. We need him. He was worth it in battle and we made him again. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> he's like not. His eyes just like, You're hearing, and I'm like, he's coming with us anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's fine. I have other horses. Uh, I uh, will require that if you wish to keep him here, though, that you pay to stable him now. Because he is your horse. No, That's he's good. sleeping in oh. bed with me. Not in a sexual way, guys. Come on. <laughs> he goes where I go. He sleeps on the bed. I sleep on the ground. God's going to all the stable fees. Sounds like it, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we have a new God, member of our entourage, yeah. officially. It is definitely... Did not anticipate that portion of the uh, fact that it's a little more enclosed up here. Uh, okay, well, with that being done, I do have a couple other pieces of business that I could discuss with you. If you guys are looking for more work, I definitely can find a few more things for you to do. If you're not opposed to something a little bit more mercenary, I have an idea that I'd be willing to run by you, but as it is, it is uh, getting late. I would prefer to discuss anything else in the morning. Well, first things first, though, me and money needing a lot now. We had a deal. He uh, goes over to a safe on the side. Uh, he looks, around, looks at the four of you and kind of like shuffles even more obviously in the way of the, <laughs> the lock mechanism. Um, you hear, it ro you hear the rotary go a couple times and then the, the safe opens up. Uh, he pulls a, a sack for each of you out and hands you each a uh, pouch of gold. 200? Two Honda. Nice. Can I just get a little uh, insight, or not insight, but perception to see how much more gold he's got in this safe? Just out of curiosity. This going to be difficult, but yeah, I'll give it to you. I just wanted to, like, as he opened to see what he was working with, uh, it's going to be a 20. Uh, you recognize the safe itself is a, it's like a, an enclosed wall safe. Uh, it's pretty deep. You can tell that there's a lot more in that safe. Uh, you you caught with just with a just with a twenty. <laughs> you caught a couple more like obvious satchels in there. You're not hey, sure. As I'm doing it, it's a little too obvious. My tongue's out. <laughs> <laughs> but you realize he's a man of means, and he would have the ability to pay you for your time. Right. I'm gonna lie to him, and I'm gonna say that uh, I was talking to the local clerics recently, Dragon Smites, and they've also said you haven't made your dues to charity. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold out my alms box. <laughs> Oh, I love All it. Alright, uh, roll your de uh, deception. <laughs> you actually I love every you. person we're with. He's just like, so. <laughs> That's a 17. Oh, boy. Have you heard the you, news? You kind of hear him swearing that they wouldn't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Jingling the one coin in there. Uh, he pulls out his own personal coin pouch, uh, just kind of does one of these things, helps you out, and drops him in there. Nice. Like, very pointedly looking you in the eyes, like... And then he just gives it one quick little just... <laughs> <laughs> for, like, one more coin. <laughs> <laughs> You've gotten your alms, holy man. May the gods smile upon you. Thank you. <laughs> the, the funniest part is none of this is going to any church. <laughs> He's like, it's to feel me to talk to God. You don't know what I'll do with these. I don't. Like, I don't even know yet. God will tell me. What to keep track. Track. How many think you gave me? Three. Seven. Seven. Oh. Oh. He was rich. That's right. He does have a deep coffer. All right, well. All right, I'm headed to the bar. Well, the um, can we? Can I ask you a question before we of course. go for the night? Um, we were just trying to learn more about the region, and we're thinking about how the shipment's going to the capital. We're wondering if you could tell us, like, who receives it in the cap. Oh, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> who is it going to? 
Do you have any chefs you recommend in the region that we've, we've heard some chefs may be interested in the shipments you're sending over? Or possibly. If we're ever back in the capital, we were, we were really piqued our interest. I make it a point. I'm not interested in any of that, and I've left. He left the <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I grabbed my gold. Steve, they might out. have any additional work for us out Little there. Guck and I are happy. Yeah, you know, yeah. Is, is this the capital with an A or O? Oh. Uh, the capital is actually Dessel. The, capital the name of it? But the capital city is called Dessel. Got it. Um, capital, there's the capital for capital letters. Uh, and that's what that is. And then capital with the city. Oh, so he confirms. So. Um, Dessel? Yes. Obadai Musix is a uh, exceptional chef in town. Uh, I've done quite a bit of business with him. A uh, very, very odd dwarf, uh, but he seems to have a, a uncompromising taste. Uh, interesting flavor combinations. <gasps> he was good. Okay, can you spell that name for me? There's a lot of uh, interesting... Obadai, O-B-E-D-A-I. Okay. NPC Thank you. We love cuisine. <laughs> and is there anywhere along around town where there might be like a notice board where there'll be jobs posted? Uh, I'm certain that well, something he's like gonna that give could us, exist, but he's going to give us more to keep track of. I'm like, not, I just wonder yeah, if you where one me. might be. You know, we're always looking for work. He told us he was going to talk to us in the morning about their job. But maybe there's other people outside of him that have jobs for him. He's like, just I don't want to sleep. I just want to get money. <laughs> Okay, thanks. <laughs> asshole. <laughs> yeah, Lehman's an asshole. <laughs> just got asshole Why though. Lehman asshole? Because <laughs> Lehman is a bastard man. So uh, when you when you leave, uh, you just kind of take a little guck with you. Um, as you walk in the saloon doors and sit down on a table, Little Gark uh, walks in and sits down next to you. And uh, I, I imagine and sitting in his uh, <laughs> puts one of his hooves on top of the table, um, pushes one of the cards forward. Oh my God! All right, I'm ordering two drinks for me and him. And Whiskey then, pour, man. <laughs> and then a card pour. Uh, cup. Like an actual like. Okay. okay. What what are we playing cards? I don't understand. Have, we, have you invited anyone to the table? Or is there anybody interested in the yeah. horse? <laughs> Just you and the horse. Does he know the rules? I don't know. What are we playing? Oh. Um, little Guck uh, puts his paw on there. Let's see if we can manipulate it. Well. Uh, holy crap. Uh, so it starts to bounce like a coin. He's doing like shadow notes. charades on the table, and I'm like, whoa. No, it's, it's like the Jack Sparrow. But he, the coin. he, he, he pushes five cards towards you and another four towards himself. Okay. And then just kind of rests his jaw on the table and just kind of stares across at you. What are we playing for? He uh, puts his paw on the table and, and just scratches four times. He's got four gold. <laughs> I believe you lost that much to him, yes. <laughs> Did I give him gold? I thought yeah. when you I keep lost. losing when you get Oh, gold, yeah, the I first time. I gave him. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, let's do it. Oh, um. I love that he's never beaten his horse in gambling. <laughs> to think that for some reason I have this understanding of Lil Guck that I can't understand animals at all, but for some reason to him it's like Scooby-Doo over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how is this working? Uh, the horse leans forward and um, kind of like works on positioning his mouth uh, and like pushes the whiskey back in his throat. All right, we're gonna try and uh, do some regular poker here. I think that it should be normal rules. All right, all right, sounds good. This horse is literally his soulmate. I think yeah, you, just, everybody like, else is just naming me sitting next to a horse going, sounds good, sounds good. Now, there good. has to be a <laughs> gathering of people just watching the spectacle of a horse gambling with a man. I like to think we've drawn a little bit of a crowd as we're now across from each other, just face to face. We're like, 
when we're leaving, talking to Drake and Smythe, we're like, where'd Gut go? And we just walk outside, and there's this tavern with just crowds of people, like... <laughs> the amazing <laughs> gambling hear... horse. <laughs> <laughs> we're both still very bloody with these prints on our face. <laughs> 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 Alright, what, are we just doing a straight roll, or...? I'm not exactly sure how poker would work without any real components. Um, there's five cards. So let's do five different die. Uh, D4, a D8, a D12, and a D6. Let's see, one, two, three, four, and a D10. And then just roll, uh, just for abstraction purposes, roll them all together, add them up, and whoever has the highest score. Right. It's not a be- it's not a perfect one, but I think that it'll at least represent the fact that you- there's five different positions, like five it. different cards. Twenty-five. Tied. Damn. <laughs> My coach is so good at gambling. <laughs> <laughs> one more go. It's like, uh, right. <laughs> 18. 26. <laughs> Alright, that's one more gold, gold. gone. <laughs> it's okay, I still got 305 gold. So, would you say that there would have been I don't like know. a gathering of people? Oh, there is definitely not a gathering of people who and are I'm- watching as you're, like... Uh, once the second hand was dealt, uh, people started putting wagers against you. <laughs> on the All right, we're ordering. I'm ordering there's another like, round there, of drinks and some shots for me, <laughs> Blow Gun. <laughs> there's, like, there's like a side. There's like a side gambling. They're like, is he really gambling with this? Okay. How, well, like, you know, we're they're placing odds. There's how many there's now? I'm like, is he been? How many okay, created? We're going double or nothing. How <laughs> average? How inebriated does this crowd? One look? more game. Dude, does this look uh, like a pretty... They're looking a little more inebriated because you said you just bought another round. You're buying one for the bar? Yeah, right. why not? How much? All right, so I'm just going to... Uh, that's going to be a total of 15 gold to oh, give five. rounds to the Let's entire bar. All right, so I'm just going to let out a quick... And I was going to say, I'll be your bookie and I'll start collecting some funds to I try to dot some stuff do down. I need to I'm, I'm going to try to play on the fact that they're a little inebriated to try to skew some of this coffer. And uh, and that you power have okay. No, I'm I'm on board for that. So what what relevant skills would you have on book booking? Uh, do you have like deception? Do you have? I have perception, intelligence, persuasion. None of that. <laughs> do you have sleight of hand? No, I'm just a small man. He doesn't have any relevant skills. Just he slight. just really he wants to do it. Okay. Uh, but my least... maybe for perception, so like I might some people if they look a little less inebriated, I'll cut them their actual fair share of the coffer. But somebody who's a little bit more toasted, maybe I can try to suss that out to okay. Skim Let me do a perception off. check. Okay. Uh, Twenty or better, and I will give you a fifteen percent cut. Jesus. All right. It's a large roll. <laughs> That uh, is going to be so, and then perception is a charisma. No, uh, perception is wisdom. Wisdom. Okay, that doesn't help me either. <laughs> but that's gonna be a nine. Okay. You get a five percent cut. So that could be quite a bit. All right. So uh, you and I are going another round. All right, so you have this round. Yes! So I got eight, that was double or nothing. Yeah, so Guck, uh, Little Guck has exactly one gold coin. Nice. Um, but action around the table is much, much hotter because they've never seen a horse play cards before. I'd like to imagine there's a loan shark in the crowd that wants to give the horse money to see him gamble more. <laughs> because he's like, we're making, I'll, I'll give you 50 gold right now because I'm going to make more on the on the big. <laughs> I love this. Uh, Little Duck leans back and whinnies. Uh, one of the other patrons looks at him, 
Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so he just puts a lit cigarette in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my little guy. <laughs> uh, so the vigor on the table, though, you're able to get uh, 17 gold. That's gold. Nice. I will dump the 17 gold into the alms of our handy cleric. <laughs> yes. It'll be a nice charitable tax write-off. Right in that alms box. <laughs> you, I'm you're donating money. money to yourself. Who are you running taxes off with? Nobody, because taxation is stuffed. All right, Lil Guck and I are just, we're done gambling, but anybody who won money off of that, we're just kind of doing songs with them, drinking the whole night away. Okay. And I'll throw whatever amount of money I need to get a stable for him that I will also be sleeping in. Okay, you've decided to throw your lot in with the horse, and stables are fine. They're stables. They smell. Uh, they're that. clean enough. He's at, this is actually He's preferable. like, I actually wish it were how much, much clean. How much does the stable run me? Uh, do you let them know that you're also sleeping there? Nah, I just go, stable for the horse. <laughs> it just never leaves. Yeah. Five silver. Five silver, all right. <laughs> he says, <laughs> "How much silver and one gold is one hundred? Uh, ten. ten? Yeah, it's a ten-based system. It's just easier that way." I am so rich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely the richest member of our group. Now, if you keep gambling, well, once it comes down, that you got with all this yeah, gambling, I'm at two hundred and ninety-seven gold still. <laughs> two ninety-seven with nine silver. I have three twenty. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you started I'll gamble my way up there soon. Uh, we got 200 gold. I had 120 when we started. I think I just rolled badly with my starting uh, money. Mine's really well. Also, if you choose to take some items and with you in an adventurer's pack, they end up not giving you starter gold. Like, I didn't start with any gold at all because I opted to take. How much do you have now? Pack. 200. Okay. I'm not the brokey of the group. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to drink the night away and then go crash in the stable. Okay. Is there anything else, any of the rest of you are doing? What's the nightlife like here? It's, uh, I mean, it's pretty popular. Um, there are I mean, some... there's horses gambling out here. Right. It's pretty, it's pretty. Oh, okay. uh, specifically tonight, because of the spectacle, it has been even hotter. Um, there's a lot more people out. Uh, you guys have definitely built up a spectacle around the specific saloon, so there's quite a few more people there, but... There are still isolated corners. The waterfront still affords plenty of opportunities to just kind of like separate, relax. Uh, there are some shops that are open late. You get a, a weird vibe from them, but they seem to have the full staple of normal goods. Interesting. And there's uh, aside from the main saloon, there's uh, two additional smaller ones just to just like. More like a uh, kind of a mom and pop local uh, bar. You think I'd find a silver mirror somewhere? I'm gonna browse around town trying to find one. Uh, so you find your way into a like an antiquities shop, and inside the shop you're able to find a pretty large selection of divine foci, uh, spell components, uh, miscellaneous things like that. So you're able to find a silver mirror. All right, I'm gonna grab myself. They don't break, do they? Unless I do something stupid. No, uh, the mirror, it's its like, it's mirrored silver. Okay. So it, it's just really shiny silver. Okay. Yeah, I'm I mean, it may require some general maintenance, uh, something, some oils and stuff to keep from tarnishing, but overall, the mirror itself is it's a durable mirror. All right, I'm gonna grab myself one of them bad boys. What do they run as I come up to the shopkeeper? Oh, I hate them. Wipe it down and walk them. I think it's like, it's <laughs> I'm imagining you slapping it down the counter, and that's what breaks it. <laughs> This isn't <laughs> real silver. <laughs> I'm cool with ten gold. Yeah, I'm fine with it being ten gold. Uh, just because it is, like I said, predominantly made out of silver, it's a little pricier, and the fact that there's some additional preparation to get it mirrored. Yeah, but yeah, it is. It is in your hands. It is ten gold. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. Good day. Well, thank you for your patronage, sir. Do you, do you need any more? Well. Is everyone that know? No. Would you say business? I don't know. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm vibing on it for you. <laughs> Would you say business is good for you? Yeah. Well, I'm out here doing a charitable tax. Taking a homes <laughs> box at Would you charity care to give any money to charity to the local clerics to help your town? Uh, uh, there's one local cleric, and uh, he I don't owe him any money, so no. 
you say so. <laughs> God <laughs> day, frowns sir. upon you. <laughs> I'm moving your direction. <laughs> May the light shine upon you. Is there um like a potion shop? Is there a potion what? Potion shop? Yeah. Uh Dark actually hit it up. Oh. The first time we were Oh. I got it so sorry, I'm gonna if, especially if we have not done every week campaign. I will not remember. I got a no, no, previous campaign. I got two uh, parts. Um, you got two what? I got two health potions on me. Okay. I got three Was I might have already looked for it then? Did did I look unsuccessfully for like a mana potion or something? Is that something acquirable? Um, yeah. I'm just realizing like oh, my low health is making me like concerned. kind of reliant on my spellcasting. Yeah. Uh, there's not really such a thing as a mana potion. Oh, um. Man. We can we can we can table that and we can discuss how that might work. Okay. But that's in fine. general, that's not a thing that currently exists. I'm so um. I'm thinking of like Wizards 101. Yes. <laughs> I'm MMO coded right now. Exactly. Okay. Are there any shops? That... So there are there are health potions. There are thing there are plenty of options to supplement the things that you would be doing with spell casting. There are wands you can buy that would do that. There are there are there are tons of options. So mm. if you're looking for something to supplement your options. Uh, if you give me a better idea of what you're looking to do, we can definitely make that happen. But if you don't have a general idea, we can we can definitely move forward from there. Yeah. Oh wait, that's fine. Okay. Are there any like sort of like jewelry shops around here that would sell any sorts of like gems? None that are open right now. What about shady looking characters in a bag somewhere? <laughs> If you're cavorting around and you're specifically looking for the seedier element, roll me a, uh, a perception check. We'll, we'll just do the basic perception. That's or investigation if you're any better at that. Oh, you know, perception. So it's going to be a 21. 21? You... You work on making your intentions oh, strong. Yeah. You eventually yeah. manage to find your way to a back alley vendor. Okay. I'm gonna well, walk up to this guy and say, "Got any? Got anything that you're trying to trying to get rid of?" That's how shops work. Um, <laughs> you, you, got, you, you got any gems? <laughs> well, of course I do. All right. So I'm, I'm going to try to. I don't know how I vocalize this, but I'm going to try to look at his selection of gems that he has for one that would be of value of at least a hundred coins, and I'll take a look at him, I'll offer him, I'll offer you 70 gold for one of these gems. Uh, this is essentially what you're trying to do is haggle. Yeah, a little bit, because I know that these are going to be fenced goods, so he's he's going to try to get rid of them, so he's not going to be able to get full value. I assume things. that he opens his, like, trench coat to show the product, but it's, like, three gnomes standing on top of each other. <laughs> <laughs> each of them wearing small the jackets boys. that they open, <laughs> the jacks underneath them. <laughs> well, the largest jacket has the largest gems, but as you keep going down, there are different varieties. I like it, but it's not what's happening. <laughs> uh, it's a half-orcish gentleman who's just kind of hanging on the alley. Uh, I could definitely get you something for that specific price. Um, mm, do you have insight? Are you any good at that? I have investigation and perception. For how? age. Roll and investigate to just kind of judge the That's value of the gems. Becomes a man. Investigation is that a wisdom it's intelligence? It's intelligence. That's going to be a twenty-two. Twenty-two. Alrighty, so you guys spend a bit of time uh, dickering back and forth over the value. Uh, primary rule of bartering is as long as both of you feel like you've been cheated, you did a good job. Mm -hmm. uh, you're eventually able to find a, a gem that is valued at around 100 gold uh, that you're able to talk them down to 80. To 80? I'll take that. I'll hand over 80 gold for this gem. Okay. What is the gem for? For level 2 when I get an infusion. Ah, okay. I got you. Hmm. Pleasure doing is business there, with you. And I'll you as well. I'm gone. Well, you, I'm you, you got any well. potions of healing? It's not my bag. All right. It's not. You, my you bag. enjoy. You enjoy your night. And I'll just. I'll wander back off to the inn or wherever. Wherever my a, compatriots may be. I had a quick idea while I'm shopping. Quickly. I would like some things that I can throw. 
had enemies to damage them. Like, when you the old game, I liked doing alchemist fire, but like, what do we have? What do we have? Yeah, like, strong magic? Uh, oh, darts. no, I was the thinking darts. more like, like Alchemist poisons blocks. and yes. Oh, um, because I, I am proficient in herbalism, so I don't know if there's like something to be done there. We can talk about this later if you'd rather, but like, we can I, table that. But as far yeah. as if you're looking for items for just uh, right now, uh, yeah, it takes a bit of time. Uh, I'll give you the same offer as him. Go ahead and roll a perception to see if you can sure. find a shop that deals in that pretty good. It's a bit after hours, so not, mo not most of the commerce in the city is uh, working on that one. <laughs> She's I don't blind. She fell shots. down and passed out. <laughs> uh, no, I was using more as, as a. It's not a complete pass fail, it's more of a status check to see. And this is out of character, but it's character. The city. You're, you're just like spending time going around the city, but uh, it's more like the quality of the shop okay. you find. Uh, this person is. Uh, <laughs> it is. Obviously in irreputable. Okay. Uh, they look okay. Uh, I don't know if I want to say it this way, but they kind of look super scummy. Oh boy! <laughs> uh, it just the the shop itself seems to have everything you need, but the goods themselves um, they expensive. They expensive, and it just seems like this person's not on the up and up. But you can definitely get what you need here. Okay. Can I do a nature perception or something to see if that there's perception anything? Perception will do. Uh, investigate. Uh, insight would probably actually be a better choice here. Okay. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Drake is also dying over there. It's so hot. So you step up to the counter and you kind of spend some time looking over the goods. They appear to be exactly what you were looking for. Uh, the pricing, however, is abysmal. You try and you try and push against uh, the ceiling that he has, and you're just not able to come to an agreement. Uh, if you want to buy an alchemist fire, I'd sell it to you for about 40 go. <laughs> I leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait. I'll just keep thorn whipping until I have to... Find somewhere else. That's not to say there aren't other shops available during right, the day. Right, maybe I'll try another roll some is other the time. Best you were able to find two Fair. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold up. Is is there anything as you're you have the all knowing about the shop? Is there anything else I see in there that might have a similar like like to look for in other places? Like is there any sort of good projectile esque in the specific thing? shop? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you're proficient with it and you're aware that you just throw darts. Darts are, okay. they're not just the, the, you know, the wall dart for, uh, gaming. They're actually, like, almost more like kunai. Nice. It's a, it's a similar but different design, but they do the same purpose. Like, it's literally a propulsive knife. Kunai chain. Okay. But those are available and you are proficient. I'll think, yeah, I'll probably look for those at... Non-shady so hours, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about... Uh, I don't know. That was all four again. All right. So you guys uh, pass through your evening uh, administrations, uh, morning rises, and you're met with decision. At this point, you've completed your, your major job. I uh, do remember that Tink had asked to see, is there a job posting in the town? And you also remember that Draken had offered you the potential for further employ. I'm gonna go meet back up with our group at what I assume they'll be gathering at the inn and grab a table and You're just walking up to us covered in horse shit and hay. And uh I and then, as and, I walk uh, in viscera and uh, as I walk in I give I'll, myself I'll a little stream and dump a little gallon of water. You can just smell them coming through the door though. Yeah, inside of the inn. It's so now they have to wipe it. It all just washes off on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> And then I just take a seat. <laughs> just imagine the sludge that's there after. Alright, so at this point the bartender begins uh, bringing around uh, uh, plates and uh, uh, full of coffee, rashers of bacon, some eggs. Um, 
throws a in to you, and uh, at this point, like, morning is yours. Uh, we can discuss that next time. I think this would be a good place to end. As he slips in a little bit of sludge. <laughs> I'm getting walks. <laughs> You're getting <laughs> waffles? I'm getting waffles. Nuts. Nice. Alright, so you, you custom order some waffles. Yeah, that'll take a minute, but we. Uh, sorry, wrong accent for this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's strange. That'll take a minute, but we can get that done for you. Like I said. Just imagine no. it's the curliest of mustard. I'm having an eating contest with Lil Guck. We're just going back and forth. Where's he? I don't know enough about horses to see how disastrous that would be. I He's like got a fork and knife as well in his house. <laughs> <laughs> good with cards, so. All right, guys. I think that that's a good place for us to end for the night. I will go ahead and do the after now. Right. Thank Thank you guys for stopping by. This has been the Trial of the Sun through the New School Project. You can follow us on all major socials, and I hope you have a lovely day.